Scandinavia and Bob here, hi. Do you feel stuck in life? Well, a lot of people do. And the problem with today's world is that there is so much self-help information out there. So when you finally try to do something about your situation, you just end up getting completely overwhelmed. This is why I decided to make a no BS version of how to get unstuck. A blueprint with just the bare necessities that if you just take these steps, you will see a vast improvement in your life. So if you feel stuck, make sure to bookmark this video, add it to a playlist, watch it several times a week and make sure to stay with me to the end here, because this video will give you both hope and helpful information. And by the way, the steps I'm about to share are not in order of importance. You can work on them all at once. In fact, you should work on them all at once. Look at them as a complete package of skills that you can't constantly keep working on. Number one, reduce your need for instant gratification. Are you drinking too much? Are you addicted to adult sites? Do you spend most of your days playing video games? Well, if so, you know what to do. Now, I'm not saying you can never play video games and have a good life, because you definitely can. But if you're honest with yourself here, you know if you have crossed the line where the amount becomes unhealthy for you. And if you're feeling stuck in life, then take this seriously now. I know I said the steps are not in order of importance, but if they were, this one would be at the very top of the list. Number two, work on your mindset. Now, I'm going to put three subcategories under this one. A. Realize that no one is coming. That's right. You have to start taking ownership of your life and realize that no one is coming to your rescue. I know it's harsh, but no matter if you're in an unfair situation or if you've been dealt a poor hand in several ways, it still doesn't change the fact that you are the only one who is responsible for making it better. I'm not saying it's not unfair. Of course, it's unfair and you probably have many reasons for being bitter and feeling sorry for yourself but you have to realize that that does not help so start taking ownership of your life b work on your courage that's right a lot of people ask me how can i become more confident so i can do X. Well, no. To hell with that mindset, guys. You don't need confidence. You need courage. With courage, you can get started even without having confidence. And then here's the paradox. After you have started, the confidence sometimes also follows as a result. And then if it does, hey man, enjoy it. You've earned it. C. Work on your discipline. Again, a lot of people ask me, how can I become more motivated? And here too, I go down. That's a bad goal to have. You don't need motivation. You need discipline. If you have courage and discipline, then confidence and motivation will follow later on. That's right. Oftentimes motivation also comes after you have started doing something, just like with the confidence. And then if it does, again, be sure to enjoy it. But know that you do not need it. You start with discipline. Okay now, so realize that these A, B and C here are skills that you develop. Most likely you won't be able to just snap your fingers, although it can happen and from that day on everything has clicked. No, it will most likely take some time and effort. That's why I said work on your mindset. Number three, start doing some form of physical exercise today. I do not care where you're at in life, but this one is a must. Especially if you feel stuck in life. There is not one single thing that has more science-backed evidence behind it that you can do to help you get out of a rut more than physical exercise. And not only to help you to get unstuck, but also to help you further propel you forward towards success. Physical exercise is what we call a keystone habit. Meaning it's one of those habits that more often than not also lead to other good habits in life. And after having done it for a few months or so, before you know it, you suddenly find that your life is looking a whole lot better in several areas. Yes, it is a keystone habit, just like nofap can be. Number four, get good at something. 
Commit to yourself to keep working on something. Pick something that you're interested in and keep learning more in that area. And so now you say, but that's the problem. Life sucks. I'm stuck and I'm not interested in anything. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Then just pick something that you hate the least and start improving on it. Did you know that if you spent reading a little every single day about one specific subject for one single year, then you would know more about that subject than 99.9% .9 of people out there. In fact, Brian Tracy said, quote, if you read only one book per month, that will put you into the top 1% of income earners in our society. But if you read one book per week, 50 books per year, that will make you one of the best educated, smartest, most capable and highest paid people in your field. Regular reading will transform your life completely." Unquote. Now I'm not just talking about reading here. I said get good at something. That might also mean practicing it, watching YouTube videos about it, perhaps joining a club and so on. Just decide on something and commit to yourself to become a learning machine in whatever you decide. Number five, learn to express yourself. Yes, keep working on becoming better at expressing yourself, both in your day-to-day -day life when you're talking to others and with writing as well. Watch YouTube videos about it, journal and practice your writing skills. Maybe start a blog or a YouTube channel. Listen, if you do the four steps I shared so far, and if you on top of that also learn how to express your opinion and your concern, in an effective manner, well then there's literally no limit to how far you can get. By learning to express yourself and being able to back it up with step number four and the previous steps, well you'll become absolutely deadly. You could get a job and quickly start leveling up in it by being able to give ideas and then express yourself. Or you could start your own business or become an influencer or whatever. The sky's the limit here. Now, of course, there is so much more we could be talking about here. But since I wanted to give you a bare necessities, no BS video without complicating things, this is it for now. So again, add this video to a playlist and come back to it a couple of times every week to refresh your memory. And oh hey guys, comment in the comment section below if you're feeling stuck right now. And then also comment what steps from this video you are going to start working hardest on right now. And one more thing, if you want to give up adult sites but you keep struggling a bit, then make sure to get my free 90 day reboot guide by using the link under this video. It is currently 100% free, but I do not know how long I will be giving it away for free. So if you haven't already, make sure to download it right now by using the link under this video.